Hey everybody, Dan Holstein here, helping your business take flight. You know, it's not unusual for a high growth business to see drift in execution. You know, the team just starts to slow down a little bit, things aren't getting done as quickly or as effectively as they're trying to keep up with all the growth and the demands thereof. So if you're in a high growth business, stick around for this week's video because I'm going to share with you a strategy on how to get your execution back on track and moving your business forward through periods of high growth. So how do you know if you're suffering from execution drift or slip? Well, generally you're finding yourself uh, focusing more and more on the day-to-day -day weeds, the, the problem solving, the issue resolution, and not focusing on the strategic. And this can happen quickly. Um, you know, where you're in a high growth mode and all of a sudden you, you get inundated with issues. It can happen slowly when you're growing a little bit more moderately. But generally what happens is the business on some level can't keep up with the volume that you're trying to push through it. It could be that you need more people and you can't find them, right? So you've got a, a, a people quantity issue. It could be that your, your people haven't uh, grown professionally and now you have a people quality issue. It could be your processes and systems and technology can't keep up with the volume that you're trying to push through them as well. So it's generally due to the, the increased volume on an infrastructure that wasn't designed to handle it. So how do we resolve this? How do we get you out of the weeds and be able to focus on the strategic? Well, as you get busier and busier and things start to slide, you're gonna end up compensating more and more for your team. You're gonna get pulled into some of this problem solving, dealing with irate customers, things like that. And you have to recognize that's not going to go away right away. It's, you're going to have some more upset customers. <laughs> you're going to have some more missed orders, whatever the case is, as you're getting these things resolved. But you must commit to allocating time for yourself and your leadership team to strategize and plan your plan of attack of how you're going to resolve the top issues that you've got in the business. And I see business owners go weeks and months with, with you know, just running full tilt without taking the time to solve issues. And it just gets worse and worse and, and more and more difficult to resolve. So we have to recognize, yeah, some balls are gonna get dropped as we, we stop and take the time to strategize. So I wanna encourage you to meet with your leadership team, allocate a few hours once a week to strategize on what are we gonna do, who's gonna do it, what resources do we need to get our top priority issues resolved. And then have a daily huddle, check in with each other. How are we making out on this initiative, on this top priority? Are we making progress? Are we getting stuck? Do we need additional resources? Let's you know, put your heads together and make sure that you're taking action on a daily basis towards that which is most important and pressing in the business. When you do that, although you know, the ball is gonna be dropping all around you until you get the issues resolved, you're actually gonna have a long range benefit from this because you're not gonna have those issues continuing. You know, you're gonna have that one issue solved. Then you move on to your next priority and continue to execute until you've got your issues resolved. And then what we wanna do is make sure we're looking ahead, looking forward saying, okay, based on the growth trajectory we're on, what else might break in the business? Who else might break? Who else might we need? What technology might we need if we're 30% bigger next year? We have to have that long range vision so we don't get stuck into the weeds again. So if you're having any issues with your business, uh, keeping up with, with your high volume, I'm happy to have a conversation with you, share some other strategies as well to help you get on top of things and get the business back on track. Uh, if we're not already connected, uh, please connect with me on LinkedIn, subscribe to this if you're seeing this on YouTube and hit the notification bell so you can get uh, new videos as I release them. I hope that you have a fantastic week and I look forward to seeing you next time. See you then.